Imagine having a digital assistant that doesn't just answer your questions, but actually does things for you. That's what an AI agent is. It's not just another chatbot. It's a system that can think, decide, and act all on its own to help you achieve a goal. So let's break it down simply. When you ask an agent to book me a flight to London, it doesn't just tell you what airlines exist. It actually goes and finds the flights, compares prices, checks your calendar, and then maybe even books the ticket, automatically sending you a confirmation once it's done. It's like having a digital employee that works behind the scenes, following instructions, solving problems, and adapting when something changes. Now here's how it works. Step one, you give it a goal. That could be anything from schedule a meeting to generate a financial report. Step two, it understands what you want, breaking it into smaller steps. It plans, decides what tools it needs, and then starts taking action. Step three, it acts. It connects to the right system, so your calendar, your email, a data platform, and it gets the job done. And step four, it checks its work. If something doesn't go as planned, it adapts, tries again, and learns from the outcome. Now this loop, the sense, think, act, and learn, is what makes it more than just a program. It's autonomous intelligence. So let's take a simple example. Say you tell your AI assistant, find a time for me and Sarah to meet next week. It instantly checks your calendar. Then it checks Sarah's, finds a time that works for you both, sends out the invite, and then confirms the booking. Now, if Sarah declines, no problem. The agent automatically suggests a new slot. You didn't have to click a single button. Now, that's not just automation, that's autonomy. Now, what's the difference between this and a regular chatbot? Well, a chatbot just responds. It's reactive. An AI agent, on the other hand, acts. It connects with tools, APIs, emails, calendars, even databases. It doesn't wait for you to tell it what to do every time. It learns from your preferences and handles the task itself. Behind the scenes, it's powered by a few key components. Number one, large language models like GPT, that understand language and reason through problems. Number two, APIs and tools that allow it to take action in the real world. Number three, memory, that helps it remember your goals, patterns, and preferences. And number four, a planner, that decides what to do next to achieve the goal. Put them together and you get a digital system that can sense, think, act, and improve, just like a human assistant. We're already seeing early forms of these agents today. When your code editor suggests how to finish a function, that's an AI agent helping a developer. When your calendar automatically proposes the best meeting time, that's an agent too. Even a self-driving car technically is an AI agent, perceiving its environment, making decisions, and acting on them in real time. But this is just the beginning. In the near future, AI agents will handle entire workflows. They'll manage your inbox, reply to messages, file documents, prepare reports, and even talk to other AI agents to get things done. Businesses will have digital teams, agents working 24 seven alongside humans, taking care of the repetitive tasks so we can focus on creativity, strategy, and decision-making. The future of digital work won't be about learning how to use software. It'll be about telling your agent what you want done and letting it handle the rest. It's not science fiction anymore. It's already starting to happen. And as these agents become more capable, more connected and more personalized, they won't just make us more productive, they'll fundamentally change the way we work, the way we live and the way we think about intelligence itself. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for more videos just like this one. If you're keen to learn more about technology, be sure to check out the industryportal.com link in the description below. Thanks so much for stopping by, and as always, keep growing, keep learning, and I'll see you in the next video.